So what we're going to do now is lay some free feed carrot using a bait layer. So the bait layer is this device here that I'm towing behind the ute. It's designed to do a couple of things. It's got a plough disc on it which cuts a furrow and then it's got a rotating drum which drops small amounts of carrot into the furrow that you've just cut. So the idea of that is so the rabbits are attracted to the freshly turned dirt in the furrow then they'll find the carrots and start feeding on them. And then of course the idea behind free feeding is that you can then gauge how much the rabbits are going to eat and where they're actually going to eat it, which gives you a good indication then of how much poison bait to put out in those areas. Another important thing with the free feeding is, is that it, it trains all the rabbits basically over a number of free feeds to go and start eating the carrot because with using actual poison it's very important that you know, as many rabbits as possible, if not all of the rabbits, get to actually start eating the carrot. We're now going to put out with using the bait layer some 1080 carrot which has been prepared for us. Um, 1080 carrot being a good option for this area. We're well away from habitation and sort of through our free feeding we've determined there's no risk to off target animals or anything else with um, using 1080 carrot. You've got the option of using pindone which is another product and you've got a different, different substrate that you can also use other than carrot in oats. So it'll all come down to determining what's best for your situation, which is going to give you a combination of the best kill but also the minimum risk to off target, target species. Okay, so an important consideration if you're using pindone is the number of actual poison feeds that you use because pindone being anticoagulant, they need more than one feed for the poison to take effect. Um, generally, I get people to do at least a minimum of three feeds and that way you're making sure all the rabbits uh, get at least two feeds. Um, so any shy feeders that haven't really got onto the poison the first time you pick up with a third feed but even sometimes a num number of even you know extending the amount of feeds is uh, quite beneficial with a pindone program depending on where you're doing it. So one of the requirements of a baiting program is that after you've done your trail it's important to go back and check the trail to make sure that any areas where there's uneaten carrots such as this you go around and collect it because that if, if it's left there it can provide a risk to um, livestock and, and uh, non-target species. Once you've collected all that you found um, and also collected any dead rabbits that you found they can be disposed of by deep burial. Mm -hmm. 